Hello Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. For this DIY, I'll be making two different side tables using inexpensive materials. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. First side table, I'll be starting off with very strong foam board and I'll be using a 16 inch platter to get a 16 inch circle. Next, I'll take 11 wooden rods and I'll bunch them up together and then I'm going to hold them one end together with using a rubber band. I'll have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below. Next, I'll take my 16 inch foam board and I'll place the rods on top, the end that is not tied together and I'll start spreading the rods out and I'll leave three in the center and I'll be placing them three inches apart. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Next, I'll start gluing every rod in place and I'll be using a generous amount. On the opposite end, I'll be using wood glue and hot glue to hold it in place. Once it was dry, I took a handsaw and cut it even, and next I'll be using two zip ties for a better hold. Next, I'll be using a 7 inch styrofoam ball and I'll start applying a generous amount of white school glue on the entire ball and I'll apply three coats with in between drying time. This will protect the styrofoam ball when it's time to spray paint. Once the ball was dry, I'll be using a knife or a saw with ridges and I'll be cutting one inch from the bottom. Because this is part of the bottom base, I made sure that the bottom has an even cut. I needed a one and a half inch circle, so I'll be using this napkin holder to trace my circle on top. And then I'll be using my knife to cut it out and I'll be cutting out until I reach the bottom. Next, I'll be using a glue gun with low temperature and I'll be filling in the hole with a generous amount of hot glue and then I'll take my rods and place them in the center until I reach the bottom. Once I was satisfied with my placement, I'll start applying hot glue in between the open spaces and gaps and this will be for a better hold and balancing. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms. I'll be using a 12 by 12 wood board and it's one inch thick and I'll start applying one coat of Mod Podge and let it dry and this will be when it's time to spray paint for extra shine. Next, I'll take my drill and I'll make three holes three inches apart in the center on the opposite side of the wood board. Inside the holes, I added three 3-inch three nails and I apply a generous amount of hot glue and I place my styrofoam ball on top and the nails will help with the balancing. When it's done, I put it aside and I'll start working on my second side table and I'll start with three 16-inch round cardboard cutouts. I'll be using flat skewers and I'll be gluing the skewers in between the boards and the skewers are very strong 
and this will make the bore strong as well. I repeated adding glue and my boards until I was done. I also made a 12 inch for the bottom base to find the center on the board so I'll be drawing two lines. I've been having this poster tube for a long time now and it's very strong cardboard and I'll be removing the ends and then gluing them back in place. Next, I'll take the tube and I'll place it in the center and then I'll trace the placement and I'll add a generous amount of hot glue and then I'll glue them together. For a better hold and balancing, I'll be screwing in two two and a half inch screws. I repeated the same steps for the top. Because I want a smooth surface on the bottom base and top base, I cut postal board two sides and I glue them on. Once I was done, I took them both to a well-ventilated area and spray painted one metallic silver and one metallic gold. Once both tables were done, I went back to the silver table and I started with diamond wrap and I'll start wrapping it in the center and gluing it in place. Next, I'll be using iridescent acrylic crystal beads, and this comes in 100 yards. Next, I'll start gluing them on the top base, one inch apart around the edges, and I'll be cutting them 14 inches, and then I'll glue them in the center with a little arch, and I'll repeat the same steps going around. Next, I'll be using clear school glue and crushed glass and I'll be applying it to the bottom of the base. I applied a generous amount of school glue and crushed glass and once it was dry I went back two more times with the school glue and applied a generous amount with drying time in between. And for extra shimmering I'll be adding silver glitter before drying. For extra glam and before drying, I'll be applying these acrylic beads on top of the base and then I went back with my clear school glue and applied them on each diamond before drying. This will infuse them together. Once 
since I was done with the silver table, I'll start with the gold table and I'll repeat the same steps using the same material, but this time I'll be using the gold glitter. So I'll start applying it in between the rods and the ball, and I'll be filling it in the empty spaces with the crushed glass. I won't be covering the entire ball with crushed glass because I want the crushed glass to look like it's dripping out of the ball and also it will give it an ombre effect. Next, I'll be repeating the same steps on the bottom base and I'll make sure to go underneath the ball as well. I took gold mirror tape and I covered two poster board strips that are two inches wide and then I glued them on around the edges of the top base. I also repeated the same steps with the gold tape on the bottom base and on the silver table I repeated the same steps with the diamond wrap. For the top of the tables I used 16 inch round mirrors. And here is the finished looks. I really do have to say I'm in love with both tables, but my favorite is the silver chandelier table, but I also love the gold balancing table as well. I also used two remote LED touch lights and I added one underneath each table to bring the beauty and shimmering to life. If you are the glam king or queen, this will be the perfect addition to your home. Let me know in the comments below on which table is your favorite. Would it be the silver chandelier or the gold balancing table? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these two DIYs as much as I enjoyed creating them. Now don't forget, I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you wish. Turn on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.